Hello, Jamalov here and welcome back to Let's Play FDL. This is game one and we are about to enter the sector two. And uh, since I am not particularly well equipped, it was a quite unlucky ride for the first sector. I will go into the engine controlled sector which is civilian. That will get me into a path of hostile sectors or nebula, but the uh, upper path is not much different. But uh, let's go to the sector 2. You have arrived in NG space. The mantis have been threatening the NG core worlds, but you should be able to stock up for your journey. Um, I did get uh, one additional crew member. I don't think I can um, rename. No, I can't rename the new crew members. Um, so uh, let's just continue and see what we have here. The exit is there. Um, if I go south or down, I'll have all these systems to explore. And probably time for it as well. That bit more spread apart up north, so let's go down. You receive a distress call from a nearby entry ship. Assistance requested danger present imminent destruction. Uh, so while this is civilian sector and a bit safer than the hostile ones, uh, it doesn't mean that there won't be any fighting, actually quite, quite opposite. Um, I will go help the entry. Uh, not only to get resources, but uh, from the ship I'll be attacking. Um, maybe even from the NG ship. But this uh, distress call can also be a trap. So there might be not uh, anyone to help, but just, just a ship to destroy. Let's respond. You receive another message from the ship. This time with a mantis at the comlog. Foolish Mijax, he yells. Sensors indicate the ship is moving into attack and borders teleport from the station. Well, fuck. Uh, one mantis comes to our ship. Uh, since there's only one, I will use manpower to handle that uh, that's one uh, they have a oh wow this is insane this might be over they have two heavy lasers one smaller one they have a defense droid which makes my missile at least for now uh, not worth anything so I can disable that uh, since they since they have that much of uh, that much of lasers and no missiles, I will take points away from my engines and evade percentage to have more shields. And um, I could take down the drone system, but I think I need to focus on taking down their weapon systems, because these will fire like hell. Those are single shots, I think, but they hit hard if they go through my shields. I need to keep an eye. Luckily, <laughs> luckily they fired those ones first. Those took down the two shields. There comes the one one hit from the from the single single laser hitting an empty room. No worries there. My uh, crew members got the man is killed. Let's put Western back on weapons. Um, Let's see how my laser does on the weapon systems. I do need to power the med bay. Let's disable oxygen for a while. I might disable engines if I disable their weaponry. I disable two. That's actually good. Uh, I will disable engines for now. That, that laser will hit. 
but it will hit my shields. And I actually only need one shield for that. So I can power my engines, giving me some dots chance. Boom. As long as I can keep their weapon systems destroyed, I'm uh, safe. And I, well, the de enemy defense droid makes my uh, missile use its unnecessarily anyway. Thank you, Maria, for taking care of the shields for a while. Charlie can take over. We have this in the back. As long as those weapons are disabled and my laser keeps hitting. The burst laser fires free shots. Uh, first taking down the shield and then I'm hoping that the latter two hit. There we go. Excellent. Hey, that's a decent result. 21 scrap. On fuel two missiles. I do have the... This is normal difficulty. And uh, I do have the scrap recovery arm that I uh, got from uh, got from a pirate when uh, when the pirate surrendered to me. So I'm getting a bit more bit more scrap with that. With 27, I could upgrade my power. Uh, I don't I don't need a weapon or oh, med bay at the moment. I will save that. I need it for repairs if I run into a shop or store. Speaking of which, there's one. There's a distress signal here. I kind of want to go to the store and repair my ship. Even that I can't really buy anything right now. Engine upgrade necessary for travel home. Sale of equipment necessary for engine upgrade. Okay, I will. Uh, I will only uh, use your services. I would really like to hire this Jolton. Oh man, but I don't have the scrap for it. Uh, Jolton is uh, one of the alien races, and uh, this fellow actually provides power to the occupied system, so I don't need as much reactor power to power that system. And this uh, NG fellow is a master repairer. Uh, also a useful crew member, but I don't have the money, and I don't want to sell any of these things. Uh, but I can take a look at what these weapons would be if I had the money to buy them. Heavy laser. I'm also paying attention on how the weapon looks like, because these same weapons will be there against me on the enemy ships. So this one has uh, its low power, 2 damage, just one fire. So in combination of my burst laser, something like this could be really good. Those are uh, that breach chance and fire chance means that uh, how high high likelihood is that this weapon will light a fire or breach the hull when it hits. Uh, so with low with that, uh, with something something else it could be high. Iron bomb. Uh, this is fire. These bombs are fired on a missile into the enemy ship and then they explode. This one being an iron bomb, basically taking down any system for a while. Then we have a hull laser specializing in uh, doing hull damage. But none of those is any good to me because I don't have any, any scrap for it. I could buy some fuel, but I'm not really short on it yet. Unfortunately, I can't sell drone parts. I could sell those now because I don't think I'll be going with drones. Drones on this ship or this, this game. Right, nothing there, so let's continue. Don't see the rebels yet. Uh, I will take this distress signal. Again, might be a trap. Might be a peaceful ship in need of an help. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They're looking for help to fix or disable it. Um. I actually happened to run into this event in in my one of my games I played before I started recording. And if I had an NG crew member, or I think it was NG, I'd have an option here. 
that I could re remotely repair it. No, I can't do it. And this is uh, <laughs> the. I think the space station actually doesn't like this that much. But uh, I will do it just in case I get some resources out of this event. You fire a few volleys from a distance and it is clear the defense system is no match for your weapons. However, the station does not seem happy with your solution. You, you salvage what you can and jump before there is trouble. Okay, good. I think it might be even possible that the station actually launches an attack on me because of that. But uh, yeah, the best option would be to have that uh, blue option to repair it. Right, there are the rebels. Uh, I think I can go from down here towards the exit. At least get these two here. But the distress signals are usually the best ones because there's the chance that there's a ship needing assistance or station needing assistance and then you can get not only salvage from the ship you defend them from uh, or and get reward from whoever sent that uh, whoever sent that uh, distress signal ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off distress call I can get something from that ship but since it is dense asteroid field I'm thinking there's a chance I'll actually just blow my ship up or at least damage the hull badly so I will avoid this risk there's no one to save there. If there was life forms, I might get a crew member and then it might be worth the risk, but like this, avoiding. Discretion is the better part of valor. Better not risk it. Exactly. Moving on. You find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. Uh, I can uh, strip it from useful scrap, getting 12 scrap, or I can attempt to download the ship's data stores. Again, I think maybe some special crew member would help here. Uh, I will risk activating the thing, uh, but uh, if that happens then I will fight it, possibly getting even some more scrap than this, or get some fuels or missiles while at it. So let's attempt one, probably getting us into a fight. No! I was able to do it. Okay, so it's somewhat random. You are able to pull all of the ship's data about this sector. Excellent! Your map has been updated and I get more parts. So I took a risk. This time it was... A it was a rewarded. With 40 scrap... I think I will... Upgrade my reactor power. That gives me the option to either power the shields or power the missiles and the med bay. I'm taking shields or something else out. But now I have two shields. That'll help me against anything else but missiles. Let's move forward. And I get that uh, information about this... Uh, about this map. I would go here, explore these sectors and go to exit. I think what I will do is go here, jump down here, and then if I have time, visit the store before the exit. Or, if I don't have time, go straight for the exit, but uh, this one first. A ship refueling station is stationed at this peak and we can purchase fuel here. Um, I have 12 fuel, that's okay-ish, but I have noticed that this refueling station is the best place to buy fuel. It's only 2 scrap per fuel, and the cheapest ones I've seen on the shops are free, and some, some shops charge even 4 or 5, I think, but that at least free. So this is a good deal, because I'll be jumping, jumping ahead, and with this I don't need to rely on buying fuel from the shops. So let's use that. Unfortunately, it eats my scrap as I'm going towards that store. But uh, rebels will be there when I jump. So let's go down here. Let's see what we have. 
ahead of us. You make contact with an isolated NG science station who are staying, but despite the likelihood of mantis invasion, they suggest you trial some experimental technology. Okay, I accept. 20 scrap, one drone parts, one missile. Nice. Did I get anything else? No. Okay, that's cool. Um, the rebels will be there. Then next they will be there. Store locations are usually usually uh, safe, so I can go here into the store, uh, see if I can get anything. Probably not with my 30. Your scrap hours are weapons for you. <laughs> okay, thanks, NG. Let's trade. I could buy FDL jammer. I'm not going to. I already have this one. Uh, there are some systems here uh, I don't can't afford, but just to show what they are. With crew teleporter, I could uh, I could teleport crew members into the enemy ship, uh, damaging their systems or beating down their crew. And then there's the drone control system. But uh, nothing nothing really here for me. I could buy some missiles, but I'm not going to do even that. Okay, I think I actually have... Okay, there's a possible ship here. Um, I think I have still time to visit this place as well. And then get to the exit. This is somewhat risky. If the rebel fleet gains, gains more space... Well, I think the exit will still be... Still be av available. And I think I can jump to the exit from here. So, uh, let's go there. You arrived at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Shall we respond? Yes. Great. I was worried no one would respond. My usual carrier is days late. I need you to deliver this cargo of drone parts to a small station a few jumps from here. I'll pay you a bit scrap now, but they will surely tip you generously. Uh, I will accept. Uh, I'm hoping this will actually take me to the next sector and not this map. Because I don't have time in this map to do this, but uh, I will accept. Yes, added a quest marker to the next sector. Perfect. I got five drone parts, but uh, I guess I need to have those drone parts with me when I arrive at the quest marker. Okay, great. Thank you. And my plan worked. Alright. That's one I don't have time to visit anymore, so to the exit. And I am at the long range beacon. Something can happen here, let's see. Federation sympathizers contact you as you arrive. We know your mission should be secret, so don't ask how we know about it. Take this schematic, it's all we can do to help. We get 14 scrap and we get system repair drone. Which is useless unless I get drone control system, but I happily accept it, I can always sell it. This drone, when powered, would would repair my uh, my ship, but as mentioned, uh, that's no use because I don't have the drone control system. This was a good run. I got uh, got a whole lot of scrap. I got my shields and stuff upgraded. None of my crew members are dead. It's uh, it's it's going going perfectly, and I have the mission to. Uh, Deliver the drone parts. So, uh, just before the rebels are here, I'm uh, jumping into the next sector, and uh, I have the option to go to Mantis Control Sector or go to Uncharted Nebula. Uh, nebulas are quite uh, hard because they disable my 
disable my uh, sensors and they also have a chance to have some sort of a plasma storm in there which will halve my reactor power which can be very deadly to me so I will avoid the nebula and go into the mantis controlled sector in the next video so uh, thanks for watching this one and I'll see you on the next one for game one sector three